All right. While we're on the subject of mesh, listener Steve asks a question. He says, uh, it looks like it's time to replace my Netgear Orbi and move on to something else. And I thought I would seek out your thoughts ASAP on what I should use as a mesh for my home. He says, uh, I, you know, I've got uh, a couple of Mac minis, a couple of iPads, a couple of Apple TVs, and I, a couple of iPhones, a disk station, some other smart Wi-Fi enabled devices. He's got about 50 devices all told. And he just wants to make sure he's got good coverage. You know, my um, my feelings on this have not changed much in the last few years uh, back to when I was obsessing over it monthly and you know, looking into mesh stuff. I'm still looking into mesh stuff pretty regularly. We just don't talk about it because the, the landscape has has solidified. My favorite two mesh platforms are Plume and Eero. And the reason for that is that they, in their own ways and differently from one another, do smart things with meshing. And what I mean by that is when you're connecting, when your iPhone connects to a network and there are three access points with the same SSID, right? So you've got, you know, my network is your SSID and your iPhone sees three access points with my network there because you have a mesh network and there's there's three points your iphone is the final uh, your iphone makes the decision as to which one of those three it would connect to now uh, it looks at signal strength and generally will just decide based on that uh, because it doesn't have a whole lot of information from the network a smart but, but but the problem is a mesh network knows a whole lot more than your iPhone does. A mesh network can know, okay, well, yeah, I've got three access points, but one of them is super overloaded. And this other one that's not terribly far away from from his iPhone uh, would be much better to connect to. And so a smart mesh is able to do some things to either provide hints to the iPhone to encourage it to choose the right network or, some of them even go so far as to do MAC address blocking and say, okay, I, I want that iPhone on access point two instead of access point three. So I'm going to block it from access point three and force it to choose a new path. And then it will choose two. And so all of these things are what I call making a mesh smarter. And Plume, I think Plume still does it the best out of all of them. Uh, and Eero is not too far behind. They are both cloud managed, which is part of what makes this intelligence happen. They have databases of device types, so they know, okay, this is the right way to provide hints to an iPhone for you know the right kind of roaming. This is the right way to provide hints to a Samsung phone for roaming. And those things have been different over the years. I don't know if they're still different, but every device has, has its own little nuances. And so... The cloud management of Plume and Eero really does contribute to what makes them my preference, and that's that intelligence of the mesh. You will pay more for Plume and Eero, although Plume, I see that you, I think you can't even get their super pods right now. Somebody pointed out to me, so it's possible they've got something new coming, and I, I don't say that to be coy. I don't know anything, uh, but you know, when usually when things go off the market, there's there's a reason for that, and I, I think we'll probably see something, uh, some evolution from them. At least that's that's my hope for the reasoning there. But the uh, the Eero stuff, and you know, I would get the Wi-Fi six stuff, or or you can get the latest and greatest with the you know the AX and all that. Um, but uh, but that would be my my recommendation. If the pricing or availability there is not suitable for you, the TP-Link Deco line is absolutely my favorite. Uh, you know, it's my third choice. And it's my favorite, you know, not super expensive choice. I don't want to call it the budget choice because that might that's the that is the right word to use, but it might send the wrong message. It, it like it's a fantastic router. It has some of the smarts, not all of them, but it does a great job. And TP Link's really committed to it, so at least they seem to be. So that those would be my three options: the the uh, Plume Superpods and the Eero, both sort of holding a tie for. For first place, and then the uh, and then the the uh, the TP-Link Deco for you know for second place, if you will.